In a previous video, we saw an overview of the work screen. To view that video, click the card above. In this video, we're going to take a look at the various document options that are available. We'll begin with the repair order already created. Clicking the ellipsis on the job title line provides several options for the job as a whole. You can clone, defer, or delete the job. If there were more than one job on the RO, we could move it up or down to change the order they appear. From here, you can also hide the job from printing and, depending on your setup, apply good, better, and best selling options. Clicking the ellipsis on the line item within the job gives the option to return a part to inventory, add a core to a part, or delete the line item. Use this selection arrow to choose a document to print. Clicking Discounts opens the Discounts page. Here, you can apply or remove discounts and also view your profit margins. Any lines that do not meet your predetermined minimum profit margins will be highlighted in red. To see how to set profit margin warnings, click the card. Click here to add shop supplies to the order. You can also add hazmat fees if applicable. You can enter other pertinent information by clicking the Document Options button. Information such as customer order number, and an internal memo that will only be visible from the work screen. You can also assign a sales class code to the invoice and record the customer's parts disposal preferences, as well as media codes to keep track of how your customers found you. Other information includes tire information. Finally, you can print an invoice draft or work schedule. When the document is in an RO status, you can record a deposit by clicking here, and you can record your technician's flagged hours by clicking time and entering it here. Thanks for watching. For more information on this or any of AllData's products, visit our website at www.alldata.com or call one of the numbers on your screen.